What up Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. This is Mike and it's time for Beach Volleyball. Long Beach hosting the number one USC Trojans. First time these teams met this year, Long Beach was swept out of the building, didn't even hit 20. But since then, Jim Bogman, Taylor Crabb, and a host of other 49ers have been excellent, leading this team to a 7-3 record in the MPSF right here at the midway point of the season. Since they didn't make the playoffs last year, head coach Andy Reid said he was hoping to use this match against the top-ranked Trojans as kind of a playoff measuring stick to see where they are and see if they can handle the intensity. They did come out with a lot of intensity in the first set, hitting 390 and taking a big lead over the Trojans, obviously having the women's volleyball team heckling the opposition service doesn't hurt. But it was lots of different players contributing, Antoine Aguilar with the serve, a great dig by Jim Bogman, and then Crab finishes this one off to give Long Beach a 25-23 first set victory. Of course, the Trojans, not the top-ranked team in the country for going quietly. Even though Crab gets things started right here, USC looking excellent in the second set. They hit 440 and led for the majority of the frame. So many different weapons. They had four players in double-digit kills, all of them getting it off here. And Long Beach, I, I mean, we, we've seen this before. Service errors, hitting errors. Struggling uh, as they did in the second set, that's always going to hurt them, especially against a tough team like USC. Bogman gets the kill, but USC is going to take the set on this one. They take it 25-20 to even this up. In the 2-3 intermission, a nice little ceremony to honor the 1991 Men's Volleyball National Champions from Long Beach State, a reunion. First time they've all gotten back together since that night. That's head coach Alan Knipe uh, taking a break from USA duties to come back uh, and hang out in the building. A lot of great history in the beach, and it's nice to see it honored on a night where it felt like they could make some more history. Game five, they split sets three and four. Uh, continuing to play with that intensity. I mean, you can't say enough about Bogman had 21 kills, Crab with 16, Brad Hemmerling with 11 kills on 23 swings. And, and they just matched USC's intensity. Taylor Crabb leaving it all on the floor right there, literally. And Antoine Aguilar going to come up big there. The fourth of his kills on the night ties this one at 10. Bogman with the ace, giving Long Beach a lead. Obviously, you can see all the fans hyped up about that one. They're ready to go. They want to see this happen. But USC answers back with a clutch block. And then here, when you're trying to play defense, it's so tough because, like I said, there's four guys in double-digit kills. You just don't know who they're going to give it to as, uh, as their setter goes to dish it up. Gets that one to go down. USC takes the lead, 14-13. And then on match point, Long Beach gets a couple different hacks at it. Got to send it over. And the Trojans putting it down. You see how excited they are. That's because Long Beach was in an absolute dogfight with the country's number one team. Lots to be excited about. Head coach Andy Reid saying he thought his team took huge steps forward in this match. Even though they didn't get the win, they do drop to 7-4 and four in MPSF play. There's a long way to go for this team, and they've shown that they can hang with pretty much anyone in America. To follow this journey, you stay right here at GazetteSports.com.